Welcome to the Professor English podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice using the phrasal verb to keep from something, which means to avoid something, to stay away from something irresistible, to avoid temptation. As usual, instead of giving you long explanations, let's just jump right in and practice. If you are not sure how to use it now, don't worry. After we practice using it together, you will be much more comfortable with this phrase. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you prefer some visual help with this exercise, you can always see the video version of this exercise on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class. Now, let's dive in and start practicing English. Here is a situation. Mary wants to be healthier, but the problem is she can't stop smoking. She wants to be healthier, but she can't stop smoking. Okay, now smoking is a temptation. We can say keep from smoking, which means stay away from this temptation of smoking. She can't keep from smoking. She can't stop this temptation. She can't avoid this temptation. She can't keep from smoking. It is irresistible. She can't keep from smoking. She wants to be healthier, but she can't keep from smoking. She wants to be healthier, but she can't keep from smoking. She can't stop that action. The temptation is too big. Let's make a how can stop question. How can stop smoking? How can she? How can she stop smoking? How can she stop smoking? We can also use keep from. How can she keep from? How can she keep from smoking? How can she keep from smoking? Use keep from because it's such a big temptation. It's so difficult to, to not do it. How can she keep from smoking? Now, many times, if you want to give instructions, you can start with the infinitive verb. You can say, to stop smoking. By saying, to stop smoking, what follows will be instructions in a, in a full sentence. To stop smoking, she should find a hobby. So we say, to stop smoking, that means I'm going to give you these instructions. And then, the instructions in a full sentence. She should, she should find a hobby. To stop smoking, she should find a hobby. To keep from smoking, she should find a hobby. Using keep from gives the idea of it's very difficult because it's very irresistible to smoke. It's really hard not to smoke. To keep from smoking, she should find a hobby. She should find a hobby. She should find a hobby. To keep from smoking, to keep from smoking, she should find a hobby. All right, super duper. Let's try another one. John has a mosquito bite and it's very itchy. He can't stop scratching it. Okay, now we know you should not scratch a mosquito bite but it's very difficult to avoid it, you have to. It's a very strong temptation to avoid scratching. You can't keep from scratching, you can't stop it. It's, it's a big temptation, it's very irresistible. He can't keep from scratching. He can't keep from scratching it. He can't keep from scratching it. Let's make a how stop scratching it. How can stop scratching it question. Let's use keep from. How can he? 
How can he keep from? How can he keep from scratching it? How can he? How can he? How can he keep from? How can he keep from scratching it? So if you want to explain, if you want to say, I'm going to give you instructions for this, you can say, to keep from scratching it, if you say it like that, to keep from scratching it, that means now I'm going to give you instructions in a full sentence. To keep from scratching it, he should apply some lotion. These are the instructions. He should apply some lotion. To keep from scratching it, he should apply some lotion. To keep from scratching it, he should apply some lotion. You can say to stop scratching it. But when you say to keep from, you're saying, I know it's hard. I know it's a big temptation. I know it's irresistible to scratch. But if you want to stop, apply some lotion. I don't really think that would work. <laughs> to keep from scratching it, he should apply some lotion. To keep from scratching it, he should apply some lotion. All right, you're doing a super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find these exercises helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next lesson. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, please take a moment to press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more fluency and listening comprehension exercises just like this one. Now, let's keep practicing English. Here is another situation. Mike was really tired and wanted to sleep. The problem is he still had to drive for three more hours. Have you ever driven a long distance and you get very tired, especially at night? You start doing this. That's nodding off. That's called nodding off. Uh, nodding off. He can't stop this temptation of falling asleep. It's a very strong temptation to fall asleep, but he can't. That would be horrible if he fell asleep while driving a car. He can't keep from falling asleep. He can't prevent this. The temptation is too strong. He can't keep from falling asleep. He can't keep from falling asleep. Let's make a how can keep from falling asleep question. How can keep from falling asleep? How can he? How can he? How can he keep from? How can he keep from falling asleep? How can he keep from falling asleep? Now, to signal that we're going to give instructions, we can start with the infinitive. To keep from falling asleep, if you say that, to keep from falling asleep, that means I'm going to give you instructions. I'm going to tell you how to stop this. To keep from falling asleep, he should turn up the volume on the radio. He should turn up the volume on the radio. To keep from falling asleep, he should turn up the volume on the radio. All right, fantastic job. Let's try one more. Here is a situation. Mary was watching a sad movie and it made her cry. She was crying. Now the problem is crying while watching the movie in the theater was embarrassing. But she, she, the temptation to cry was too strong for her. She can't keep from crying. She can't stop that because the temptation is too irresistible. She can't keep from crying. She can't keep from crying. Let's make a how can stop crying question. How can she? How can she keep from crying? 
how can she keep from crying? How can she keep from crying? How can she keep from crying? Okay, now because we're giving instructions, we want to signal, we're going to tell you, we're going to tell you how to do this. To, to keep from crying, that means now I'm going to give you instructions with a full sentence. To keep from crying, she should think of a funny joke. She should think of a funny joke. To keep from crying, she should think of a funny joke. To keep from crying, she should think of a funny joke. To keep from crying, I'm going to explain how. To keep from crying, she should think of a funny joke. All right, you did an amazing job today, and you learned some fantastic English. Congratulations, I knew you could do it. Remember that practice makes perfect, so you should repeat this exercise several times, not just so you can remember how to use to keep from, but also to improve your listening and speaking skills. It's been really fun practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you again real soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the like button. See you in the next video with more interesting words and phrases.